this right here is why you do not want to house toucans near other birds. I know they seem cute and they're known for fruit loops and eating fruit and all that, but in addition to that, they're also predators. And what you're seeing right now is what she would be doing if there was another bird around her. They're known very notoriously in the wild for raiding other birds' nests, like you see here. And these are these are actual hat hatchlings, live hatchlings, as well as raiding the eggs of birds, especially of birds like caciques. There's a great piece that uh, David Attenborough does called The Life of Birds, where he talks about and shows clips of toko toucans specifically raiding the nest of the caciques and bullying them and eating all their eggs, basically. And here you can see a chestnut mandible, or Swainson's toucan, eating a bat. So they will actually capture and eat animals similar to their own size. Don't think that just because you have a macaw or a cockatoo or a bigger bird like that that they're that they're not susceptible to toucan's douchebaggery. So they would have a bird like this and toss it around. When you're seeing them toss around food or toys in their bill, that's basically them tenderizing it. So even though they're not extremely powerful when it comes to the bill itself, the jaw muscles, their necks are very powerful. They can thrash and shake. They'll tear at the bird, or they'll tear at other animals, hold it down with their feet, and just generally by tossing it around like that. And even though it seems relatively gentle, I mean, for a living animal to be tossed around like that, especially a bird with fragile bones, uh, it can be devastating to them. So. And they can swallow it whole, too, as you saw. So you see here, she's trying to hold it down with her foot. So anything from hummingbirds, like here, all the way up to even large parrots, aren't necessarily safe. I'm not trying to call anyone out specifically. But I've noticed that toucans are getting more popular now. Maybe because I've started making videos, I don't know, but... They're completely different from parrots. You can house parrots together pretty easily, but... Toucans, even of their own kind, can be very aggressive. Especially toco toucans. Toco toucans are the biggest bullies of them all. They're very aggressive to other animals, to other birds, and even sometimes to their own kind. So if they're, if there's an unfamiliar bird that comes around, they usually don't take too kindly to it. They'll bash it on the side of the perch, and then they'll hold it down with their feet like this. Big and small animals alike. I'm not saying you can't successfully house a toucan around other birds. I'm, you know, I'm sure there are people out there that do it, but basically you can never have them out at the same time. Even though macaws and maybe not even macaws, I mean, you know, macaws are big birds. I've never seen a toucan attack a macaw personally through video or anything like that, but I'm sure it's possible. And even though macaws have very, very powerful bills, they are hook bills, of course. Toucans have quite the reach. Here you can see one with a parrot. So if you have a Conure or Amazon or anything like that, this, this Swainson's toucan here has killed this parrot and is now eating it. <laughs> trying to.
in the same way that Ripley was trying with that little bird. See it shaking it around? They kind of shake it around like a terrier. She's ripped all the tail feathers off of this little fake bird. This is a cat toy. I found that toucans generally like cat toys more than bird toys, so... They have that hunting instinct. And they can catch them in mid-flight, too. They're not the nicest animals. And keep in mind, too, that when you watch my channel, you're seeing the highlights. You're not seeing when she's being aggressive. And trust me, she does get aggressive. When they get out of their adolescence, they start reaching sexual maturity, and every now and then she can be kind of rude. She goes into velociraptor mode. That's what I like to call it. And you know, they're kind of moody like any bird. Now, Ripley doesn't have hunting experience like a wild toucan, obviously, but I've heard horror stories of even people trying to house two toco toucans together and it not going well at all. One tries to attack and kill the other one. There are places like the Dallas World Aquarium that have had success housing toucans with other birds, but that's with very large space requirements. They have huge, huge flight aviaries on their property and in the, the warehouse that they reside in. Where if the toucans are bullying them or trying to attack them, that they can fly away. Just something to think about for those of you trying to, or considering getting a toucan. They might have other birds. They're not exactly a beginner bird, that's for sure. And if you, if you have one and you have other parrots, I would highly suggest keeping them separate when they're out of the enclosures. No doubt about that. And by separate, I mean do not let them out at the same time. <laughs> and, you know, even one bird can be a handful for one person, and two cans are like, you know, birds on crack that are just bouncing off the walls all the time. They're not just chill like parrots are, where they just kind of hang out. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on too much, but please consider if you're getting a toucan or you want to get a toucan, if you have other birds, consider the consequences of having them near each other. If you guys are interested in learning more about toucans, please subscribe to our channel. And also, we have a Patreon account now. So if you'd like to support or adopt Ripley and I and help us continue to produce these videos and hopefully go out to other zoos and uh, even film some in the wild, you can support us through here.